Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you um, basically what you need for MC Creator um, to make professional mods. Um, so let's get started. There's a few things you're going to need. 7-Zip is one of them, or WinRAR, but I prefer 7-Zip. So to get 7-Zip, the link, all the links will be in the description, so don't worry. 7-Zip.org um, is where you get 7-Zip. That's um, for 32-bit, you want this one right up here. For 64-bit, um, I believe it's Windows. Yeah, Windows for Windows. Um, you want the one below it. So that's 7-Zip. After you get that, we'll move on. So You want paint.net. I'll leave this link in the description because for one of the reasons it's really hard to get to this area you have to click on certain things and certain pictures and stuff in order to get to the download link so if you don't click on the right thing you'll go around in a circle but at this page you'll basically just need to click on the paint.net and free download right, right there in the corner right here so that's all you'll need to download for the moment until the next tutorial. The next tutorial will basically be um, uh, installing MC Creator, which is the modding program for Minecraft. I prefer it because it does multiple things. So we got that. Next thing we're going to need to set up and get the files for making professional textures and stuff like that. I'll walk you through paint.net following. So you want to go to percent app data for Windows. If you're Mac or Linux, you're going to have to figure that out yourself. Go to your dot Minecraft folder, your bin, and then open up your Minecraft jar with 7-zip by opening archive. If I'm going too fast. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I've done this video a couple times, but I needed to find the right recording equipment that supports YouTube, so um, create a new folder, and it doesn't matter what the name is. Um, I'm just going to call my files. Uh, the files you're going to need is the mob folder. Let's open up this. So just drag the mob folder into that. It'll keep it in your Minecraft jar, so don't worry about copying it or anything like that. Next is you're going to need to go into the GUI folder, go to items, get the items.png, go back. Next thing you're going to need is armor, drag the armor folder right over. Um, and you'll want to scroll down to T, which consists of the terrain.png, which you'll need. Okay, you can exit out of your 7-zip. Now, these files right here, you're going to need for sure for the program. The train.png consists of all the blocks in Minecraft, which has different textures, which you'll need. It's a 2D texture format. Um, items from the GUI file consist of all the items in Minecraft, or at least most of them. Um, that are considered the items. It consists of tools, the armor, it's basically all the GUI that you'll need it's for the program. Mobs is the layout of each individual mob. Um, it's important because if you're making new mobs, you're going to need the layout for that mob. So pig, etc. Um, armor. There is two files you won't need in here and they're at the bottom. It's uh, power and wither armor. You can delete those. The rest you'll need. And if you're making armor, you're going to need the layout for the armor file. With that being said, um, you can right click on any one of these files and go open with not paint, but paint.net. And just get rid of my old other tutorial one. Uh, don't save. Don't save. There we go. Um, so this is what it will basically look like. They're all 16 by 16 
textures. Um, if you're creating a texture pack, which I probably will be doing a tutorial eventually on making HD texture packs and regular texture packs. Right now I'm just going to focus on making the tutorials for the program um, MC Creator. So. Um, Let's just take a simple texture such as wood. Okay, that's a different tool. So let's go over the tools first. Um, your selection tools are the rectangular selection, which will select anything when you drag, right click, or left click, and then drag and release, and that will select your area. Um, to move your selection, and all the textures that are underneath it, you will want that tool right there, and that will move all the textures. If you just want to move the selection, it's one under it, and it'll move the selection around, not the textures. A circular selection, which. Uh, control Z. Which is like that. I don't know what you would use that one for in Minecraft since everything's square. Select um, a number or um, to select an area, you just right click with this tool, it'll select everything uh, depending on how strong it is. So if I want to select everything, you just bring that up. This basically controls the area. Um, how much you want to for the tool to cover it's in your paint bucket and I think your now your brush is something different but some other tools there um, your eraser so you can erase textures now you can see that there's tiny um, like an, um, a background with squares in the background that tells you that it's transparent so this grass, you can, if you know Minecraft and you've played it before, which most likely you have if you're thinking about making a mod, you know that grass is actually has a transparent background. So you can, if I zoom in here, you'll be able to see the transparent where it's transparent and stuff. So um, you can add text. Like that. Um, I think the next thing we're going to cover is basically selection. So to make a new texture, such as like let's work with wooden planks. That's what I did with my other two tutorials that I tried to make. Um, so when you select something and can hit Control C, it will add it to your clipboard so when you go and click on this button new it will automatically select the diameter and um, the height and width of what your clipboard is so um, it's 16 by 16 control V will paste it and control A will select it all your whole image um, okay now we got that covered um, your colors, you have your basic color wheel right here. Um, this will basically just go around the the color wheel in like a certain area. Uh, keep the same diameter around when it goes around when you click on that. So if I bring it all the way out here, you'll notice that it goes just around the rim. This is for your um, how light you want the picture to be, it will go inwards and outwards. This is how dark you want it to be, it will go in and out for darkness. Down here is your transparency, so 50, you can set it to 50 and then say paint bucket. I want to bring that up and then you can basically add a tint of color. Uh, if I want it darker, go down and there you go, it's a little darker more dark, a little more dark, there you go. Um, basically you also have a color palette here and when you start the program it'll 
start like this you just hit more and then you get all the options here if you do not get the tools say you get the program like this all you need to go is to window tools and I'll bring up the toolbar and that color and I'll bring up the color bar it'll probably come up as this when you start the program let's work on the bars up there and then I guess I'll finish wrap this tutorial up um, it's a file you can create a new one open previous images or any image you can save it as print etc um, you don't really need anything from edit because you have your shortcuts which is Control Z undo, um, Control A select all, Control C is copy, and Control V is paste, Control Y is redo. So that's basically everything in edit. To zoom in, you can go into view and it'll zoom. Um, pixel grid, there you go. That's a handy tool to have so you can see what pixels you're editing. Um, can rotate the image so it can be clockwise if you want it or counterclockwise or 180 so now it's rig the opposite direction um, layers that is basically okay if you go to the window and then add layer I'll show you what this does you can add new layer now if I were to take a white pencil and draw a circle you'll probably think it's right there on the picture but you're wrong if I move that up it's not there it's only there if you merge the two images together so if I delete this it will not affect the original background image so it's basically good for if you're editing um, pictures or you're working on graphics or animation and you have to trace something out but you don't want that same image for example um, I'll just give you a quick demonstration so if I want the wood texture So then I delete this. I only have the um, oops, way too strong. You can see I only copied the um, the actually the pixels that were the darkest. So that's basically what it's for. If you don't want to use layers, you don't need to it's I don't really use it often um, adjustments let's move on to adjustments adjustments you can turn your image to black and white which will make it in the black and white color um, brightness and contrast um, usually it will be at zero wait I think zero yeah I don't know, somewhere in zero, but this is your brightness, how dark and stuff you want it. Um, if I want it dark, look at that, that's beautiful, right there. The contrast. Um, contrast is basically how much color and the color scale you're adding to it. And you can change the hue, which is handy. That's beautiful wood. I might actually just save that. Um, so hue is basically changing the color spectrum without editing the or adding any colors to it. Um, if it's black and white image, you'll have to add a color to it through the transparency thing that I showed you. But um, solicitation is basically again how much color you're adding. It's kind of like contrast, but isn't um, lightness and darkness. It's like that. It's basically brightness. Um, 
effects. So if you wanted to add noise, it's basically adding pixels. Um, the more noise you have, the higher the pixels are, the less noise, the less pixels. You can also change how much color there is in it and the coverage rate. it covers compared to that. Um, there's artist effect or artistic artistic effects which is inks, oils and pencil basically for example oil I'll turn everything to like an oil painting. It was an actual painting. I'll uh, demonstrate it on here. Zoom out a bit. Might not be a good picture to do it with, but here, let me open something. Uh, file, open. Desktop. No, downloads. What would be a good one to use? You, I guess. Actually, you, mm, yeah, you. Okay, so we have this picture here, and if we wanted to go to effects, artist, and then oil, it'll give it kind of like an oil pastel look. You can change the brush size. And it'll basically make it look like you did it with an oil, um, oil paint. Um, effects. Artistic ink. Basically, turn everything to an ink kind of pattern. How much line you want in it brings out the line and the coloring. Um, artistic and then pencil sketch. And basically, turns everything to pencil. Uh, you can turn up. Uh, potential size and also add how much quality you want it to have. You can get like so. I think if you do a smaller, it's more. Yeah, like look at that, that looks really good. Um. Blurs. There's a few different types of blurs with that. Um, distorters. So, one of my favorites is to crystallize everything. The size of it. Change the size. Makes things look really cool like that. Um, there's a few other ones. Frosted glass. Pixelize things. Um, that's cool. Um, yeah, so that's basically your tutorial, the first tutorial for M M Creator. So um, if you like my tutorials and you want to subscribe, please do. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.